Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. For requests, please submit those to Tinkernut.com. This tip is going to be a Gmail tip, and I'm going to show you how you can add interactive shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts, to your Gmail account using a script called Grease Monkey. So just uh, bring up Google and type in the search term Grease Monkey and click on the very first result. Uh, it should be a Grease Monkey Firefox add on. And on the resulting page, just click Install Now and install it. And then it'll ask you to restart Firefox, so go ahead and restart it. And when it comes back up, at the very bottom right hand corner, you should now see a little uh, smiling monkey icon. So now go back to Google and type in the search term Grease Monkey Scripts and the first result should be userscripts.org so go ahead and go there and on their website uh, search for modified gmail macros and then you want to select modified gmail macros version 2.0 and on this uh, page click on install this script and go ahead and install it and it'll tell you if it installed successfully or not all right, now with all the technical stuff all out of the way, go to gmail.com and we can play around with it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is type in H. This brings up the help command, uh, the, the help box, and it shows you all the different commands that you can use to navigate through Gmail using just your keyboard. Um, so the first one thing we're going to do is type in G and start typing in the name of a label. Um, for instance, I just typed in GKW to go to my query labels. And then you can type in X to select an email or S to star it. And then you can use your, your arrow keys to navigate uh, to the next conversation, things like that. You can also type in uh, G and then ST, for instance, to go to your starred folder or GI to go back to your inbox. And, uh, or GC to go to chat and you can just kind of mess around with that um, and don't forget if you if you get stumped want uh, more shortcuts just type in H and it'll bring up the list of shortcuts that's it for this tutorial for more go to tinkernut.com